Hi, I'm Harley. So tonight, uh, it, it's not anything special. It, it's pretty much just me going off about stuff because there are things that, um, There are things that I, uh, I've noticed that are just, just ridiculous. So here's Harley's lessons on grammar. You do not take anything for granite. That's a rock. Granite is a type of stone. You can take something for granted. That means that you don't appreciate its worth. Um, <laughs> you, uh, irregardless, that's not a word. That's not a real thing. Um, you could say, regardless of how you feel, you don't need the IR in there. That's, that's not real. You, you just, you're just making yourself sound dumb. Uh, also, oh, you guys should watch the Total Bellas because they say stuff all the time. And it is hilarious. Don't get me wrong. I laugh my ass off. But, uh, I can only remember the most recent one I saw. Um, Landfield? That's not a thing. Landfill. You go to a landfill. Well, you don't. Hopefully, you don't go there. But the Bellas did because they needed to see the one um, uh, Brie. She needed to see the uh, destruction that that uh, disposable diapers have on the world, I guess. Um, but it makes sense if you think it out because you fill the land with garbage. It's a landfill. <laughs> also, one I just heard. Um, oh shoot! What? What was I watching? It was it was another wrestling thing. One of the ladies from Glow uh, said they were going that they were there to pay Amish to <laughs> to uh, oh god what's her name? She got power bombed through a table at like seventy five. It was ridiculous. She dated Chocolate Henry, uh, or sexual chocolate. Uh, oh god damn it! I can't remember her name now. Should have written it down. Written it down. That's proper grammar too should have written it down. See, I make mistakes too. It happens. I get it. But the thing is, I can I can recognize that there's a lot of people out there that just don't get it. Uh, so you don't pay Amish. Like the Amish is a type of people. They're, they're a culture. <laughs> you you pay homage to someone uh, to to honor them and to recognize their, their, uh, their place in your life and in the world. Uh, also, this one, this one is not hard. There's two, T-O, there's two, T-W-O, and there's T-O-O. I want to go to the store, T-O. I have two of these, T-W-O. Uh, if you can use the word also instead, I want to go to. I want to go also. That's T-O-O. It's really not that difficult. Also, there, there, and there, uh, I want to go there, T-H-E-R-E. Uh, let's see, they are going together, that's they are, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, <laughs> um, T-H-E-I-R, oh, I can't think of an, an example of that one, um, this is theirs, this is my boys, this is theirs, I'm pluralizing it, but, you know, that's, it's still the same thing, um, so the things, little things, if you're not sure, Google, it, it, it's there, it's handy, they will let you know. There's a uh, website called Grammarly, they will triple let you know, they have an app. If you think you sound dumb, get the Grammarly app, it'll make you sound smart. And if you're not sure if you sound dumb, you probably do. <laughs> All right, so the other thing, uh, I was out driving around with my family, and uh, my wife and I, we were doing like, you know, slug bug, slug bug orange, slug bug red. My kids didn't know what the hell a slug bug was. And it occurred to me, there are not like slug bugs out on the road really anymore. They're pretty rare. So Ivy and I decided that we are going to reinvent slug bug. Um, it's going to be now CRV punch. CRV punch! I mean, if you want this to happen, it needs to be a common car that you see, right? So why not? the most common SUV out on the road. Uh, my arm is gonna be black and blue. Um, and we've we've talked about it. We're going to alternate who drives so that uh, we each have an arm that can heal. 
because <laughs> the kids get ridiculous. The kids think it's hilarious. Uh, I, I don't know whether or not it's a good idea to be um, allowing them to hit each other, but in this context, I think it gets out some aggression that they would otherwise not be allowed to express. So, uh, you know, time and place, right? Um, also, uh, medium or chicken, that, that's not a real thing either. I've, I've been seeing this on, on my Facebook a lot, and it's ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. You cannot cook chicken or pork to be medium rare. That's not real. Uh, they have different um, bacterias and, and things that you can get if your meat is not cooked appropriately. Uh, cows are different. And I don't know exactly why, uh, but I do know it has to do with the natural bacteria. Uh, and also, even when you cook a steak medium rare, it has to be a certain level of freshness. Like, you can't have a steak that's been sitting in your refrigerator for a week and cook a medium rare. Like, that's not going to work. You're still going to get sick. So, you need fresh meat. It needs to be a cow. Um, there might be... Let's see, I can't think of another another thing that you could do it with. It has to be a cow. Like, you can't undercook fish. You definitely don't want to undercook any type of crustacean. Um, and, and if you don't know what that means, it's like crustacean is another word for, like, lobster and uh, crab and whatnot. Um, and I, I am only explaining that because I realize that sometimes I use words that, that not everybody who listens to me understands. So I apologize. Uh, again, though, you could look them up. <laughs> it's not my fault that you don't know grammar and <laughs> that you don't know words. Um, but yeah, chicken, chicken, turkey, uh, pork, those things need to be cooked a certain way to be safe. Um, if you get food, food poisoning because you're eating medium rare chicken, that's on you, dude. Totally on you. So uh, those, those are, are, are the things that, you know, that just, it just gets under my skin and I just have to get it out. I just have to like talk about it. Uh, if you have something that really annoys you, make sure to leave it in the comments. Let me know. We can talk about it. All right. I'm going to try to do this and not, not laugh, but <laughs> he said, I need to say it. So because <laughs> when I was talking to her earlier, I said, you know, this stuff really grinds my gears. <laughs> can't do it <laughs> oh but there used to be someone on snl that would say it in a really high-pitched voice and if i'm not uh doing this like on a camera i could do it but i can't do it now <laughs> so i'm sorry I i'll try again maybe some other time and uh post it in the comments for you or something but yeah let me know your pet peeves um let me know other words that you know of that people misuse or just don't get right all together or have completely made up uh because yeah it happens it happens so often and it's kind of sad it's really kind of sad uh what i've discovered is that webster's dictionary is actually um like like adopting words that aren't real to accommodate because because language is fluid right so it changes um things that meant like a word that meant something a hundred years ago doesn't necessarily have the same meaning today. Um, and Webster's Dictionary, like they uh, adapt to that. But also they're having to adapt these words that are just being used improperly or being made up, like irregardless. That's just, that's just so, so crazy to me. So uh, yeah, that that's my rant. I hope you all have a good night. I will work on a new Sleepy Time Cinema. I have a couple of ideas. Um, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys. End of rant. End of soapbox.